Just before 10 o'clock on the island of San Pedro, gunshots rang out in the San Pedrito area, a portion of the island that has emerged as a hotspot for criminal activity. Maria Escalante and her children had just closed their front door and were about to have dinner when at least five shots were fired at their apartment. Moments after, her 13-year-old daughter, Meredith, fell to the ground. She had been shot to the chest. She was standing right where, right where, where you were, right there. Right there she was, and she just did this. Mom, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And I just said, like, what happened, what happened? And she said, Mom, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And she just got stiff on the glue. That instant, I just yelled after everybody. Honestly, no one didn't help me. No, I just was just driving and trying to go from doctor to doctor. Dr. Dan was the first one available. After that, he just sent me to the polyclinic, thanks to the 24 hours mm -hmm. and all doctors and nurses that was there available. She's so lucky that it just went one, through one side and came on through the other side. She was, she was just lucky. She's an, in, um, what would you say? <laughs> Can't. She was just, an angel was beside her because if this didn't happen, if you see the bullets all over from through my door all that distance, my baby would be dead right now. The shooting police believe was in revenge for the attempted murder on a well-known alleged drug peddler, Karim Egan, who was shot to the leg two days earlier on February 9th. The apartment complex is owned by Role Spat, another alleged drug trafficker, and the retaliatory shooting on Wednesday night was on a room once used by one of his sons. Superintendent Luis Castellanos says that Meredith is a victim of circumstance. She was inside her residence, which is at the Role Spat apartments, and when they heard several gunshots, and while she was in the kitchen, she felt the burning sensation to her chest and realized that she could not breathe. And the family members then rushed her to the private clinic where we then um, intervened. I applied to the court to have the gentleman be removed from the, to relocate from the area. And also that he could not be 500 yards from the residence of the spot because we believe and the information coming is that there's a rival between the spot and this gentleman, Mr. Egan. And so to avoid further confrontation, we made that application. And we were successful in having the application granted to us. The espots they're known uh, to the police? Uh, we know that they have been, uh, they are involved in drug peddling. And if you recall the news, they have, you know, several of them have been shot before. And so they are, they are known to the police. Two youngsters believed to be the gunmen were reportedly seen fleeing the area after the shots were fired. While the family is relieved that Meredith is at home safe, the family is traumatized by the ordeal. I'm still shocked. It's something that happened just, just as a sudden. We were just standing and we just hear the bangs and that was it. My baby fell. Honestly, that is what happened. I, don't, I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I just fell my baby on the ground, all I did is scream and try to pick up my baby and just through the door. I don't know, I can't say I see because I'm lying. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I won't blame nobody because I don't know what happened. You guys weren't the intended target. No, no, no. So what are you going to do now or are I you going to stay? Know. I don't, honestly, I don't know. I'm all alone. I have nobody like to say, oh, I could go to my family, or I couldn't go nobody. I'm all alone. All I could say, I'm a hardworking mother. I'm a single mother of six kids. That's all I do. Work for my, all my kids all by myself. No one has been detained in this latest shooting. However, we don't know who they are. We are asking the public if they could assist us. And um, we know that there's some problems in that area. We will be policing the area. And we, we will have more focus in the area because now it is a problem area for us. And so we need to address the situation. Dwayne Moody for News.